except that I saw that in that was the will, the divine will manifesting before my eyes. And he said, I never saw a rock or a tree or anything except that I saw it as a manifestation of the divine will. It was God that put that thing there. That's what he was acknowledging. And then he said, وَمَنْ يُعَظِّمْ حُرُمَاتِ اللَّهِ فَهُوَ خَيْرُ لَهُ عِنْدَ رَبِّهِ That the one who exalts the hurumat of Allah, the sanctified things of God, and what is more sanctified than the creation of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. This thing that Allah has created as a tajalli of all of His divine attributes and then called us to marvel at it. If you look at people when they see people who, who can do something amazing. You see, you had a, the, a beautiful singer who sings his song and people in the non-Muslim society, you know what they do? If people clap, they do these things, ovation. They do an ovation, right? Which is to, to praise. That is because of what's happening in their hearts. They see something extraordinary and they want to praise that thing because they're seeing something that has affected their souls. So when they see a, somebody who's mastered the piano and he gets up and plays some extraordinary piece by Rahmaninoff or Beethoven, they all stand up and they clap and clap to say, what an extraordinary thing you've just done before our eyes. How extraordinary. That's what they feel like doing because it's so amazing. <coughs> and yet, we're in this incredible existence, this amazing creation, <coughs> stars in the heavens, galaxies. We've got Hubble telescopes that look at the far corners of the universe, the massive expansiveness. We have flowers that bloom before our eyes. We, we can watch flowers that move across as the sun moves across the sky. The flowers follow the sun. The Arabs call them Ubad the shams we have animals that can do the most extraordinary things. Elephants that can carry extraordinary weight on their backs, but ants even, even more extraordinary that can carry many times their own weight. All of these things happening before us. We have women right now in this room. There's a fetus, a baby developing in their wombs. Mitotic cell division at rapid rates. All of these things are happening everywhere. And we don't feel compelled to give God a standing ovation. To stand up before Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and say, Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar. Really to stand in ovation before our Lord. Like people stand before some poor soul who's perfected some little trick on a musical instrument who can pipe a tune out and we're compelled to jump up and clap and say bravo, bravo and we can't get up for the Lord of the worlds and say Allahu Akbar Ma harraka bi rabbik al kareem What has deluded you? What has deluded you? What has taken you away from the praise of your Lord? <coughs>